Hi, welcome to the project management course um, Fundamentals and Beyond with the Open University UK in collaboration with Tim Gand, a US-based um, project management software company. Um, congratulations if you've gained free access into this course and you've joined the program. Um, you're about um, to be on a journey that is going to define your project management career with a professional certificate and um, knowledge that can help you manage projects of any size and work with company of many sizes. I'm Victor and I'm going to be your team lead for this project management course which is hosted on DEXA. Okay now um, this course is initially supposed to cost about 75,000 naira but congratulations you have um, gained access to this course and the program and you're going to enjoy um, all of the goodies in this course for free. So we've mapped out this course to last for 21 days it is going to be a 21 day program and you receive your professional certificate and that is why we want all hands to be on deck for everyone to do what they have to do to complete the course as supposed this course has been slated to run for 21 days like i said and to achieve that you're going to be taking about six lessons in a day six lessons which is not going to cost you up to an hour or two and um, you carry out the assignments necessary for um, each of the lessons you're done with and then collaborate with your team members, your team lead and um, whatever instructions you're given to ensure you pay attention to them, carry them out and um, ensure yourself a successful time in this bootcamp. So we implore you to give um, this project your best. Give all of what you have got into this program we've worked so hard to put this together and we expect that you take full advantage of what we have done and not let it go to waste um a, a very brief overview of this program like we mentioned before you're going to be working with um, um learning from professionals from the open university uk and Tim Grant. So in this course, you will learn a lot about project management and about how to become a project manager from tools, apps, tips, concepts, and methodologies to, um, to the do's and don'ts and the best practices. You also learn core knowledge of applied skills in project management um, to lead. You also learn how to lead a successful or to lead a project to success and how to capitalize on the leadership and behavioral facets to do so. You learn the tools and techniques to manage the comprehensive project management life cycle of a project from um, initiation through closing and to balance the critical trade-off of time, cost and scope to meet customer expectations. There are just um, so many things in stock for you to learn in this course. It's just a lot of things. So why should I take this course? You might be asking yourself. One, project management positions are growing at a 1.5 million opportunities per year. Now, th this um, information was sourced out from the Project Management Institute. So the median salary for an entry-level project manager is about $84,000. But senior project managers can earn up to $200,000 a year depending on the industry and complexity of their role. Some make even more. Then project management is also an exciting career and offers a lot of exciting career opportunities across industry and domains. As a project manager, project consultant, project analyst, project manager, and um, um, project management officer, or project management office manager. Then finally, project management is, also, is an essential skill set for um, many careers and in many contexts in our lives. So this course is for people who want to become um, a project manager, men and women who would like to pursue a career in project management, people who want to learn about project management, developers, business analysts, coordinators, change makers, analysts, and everyone who would like to switch to a career in project management. So this course is for you. Then there are a lot of things you, you can read up on this course on your own. You can just go to um, our page to read up more of all of this. I'm, I'm going to link um, this in the description below so you can go and read up about this course. So and the next video you're going to see is an intro and, and a welcome message from um, the two institutions we are working with.
so you would know who to expect in your course and what to expect right make the most out of this course we are hoping to see you on the other side victor kelechi kingsley the team lead of dexa and the head um manager of this program see you on the inside once more Hi, I'm Brett Harned. I'm a digital project management consultant from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In my role, I work with a lot of teams, whether they're from agencies, startup companies, internal teams at corporations, and I help them solve their project management challenges. In this class, we're going to cover the basics of project management. We'll talk about the characteristics and principles of project management. I'll take you through a demo using a project planning tool called Team Gantt. And then we'll talk about what it takes to set and manage expectations and be a great communicator. In case you haven't heard of a Gantt chart, it's a tool that project managers use to represent how projects will get done. Essentially, it's a project plan using horizontal lines to represent tasks. Team Gantt is an online project planning tool that allows you to add tasks to projects, assign people, track time, and really manage your project as a whole. You can create a Gantt chart, you can create a list view, you can communicate on tasks and do everything that you need to manage your projects. No project is perfect, but if you want to know that it's managed well, look back at the timeline. Did people meet deadlines? Are people happy with the outcome? Have the goals been met? And is the budget still intact? Project management is the practice of keeping projects on timeline and on budget. There's usually a person who's behind the scenes setting up to-do lists, managing project plans, taking a look at budgets, and ensuring that people are communicating. I hope you get a lot out of this class. The intent here is really to share some of the values that will make you good at project management. It's not about using a tool or being really great at one thing. It's about a collective experience and applying some principles to the work that you're doing. So at the same time, you should have some takeaways and things that you can really start implementing right when you get back to your job. Welcome to this course on project management beyond the basics. There is a growing need for project management skills. Indeed, many of the learners who completed the first course asked for more learning on project management. As more and more people work and lead projects, it becomes important that they acquire not only technical skills, but also the softer skills involved in being successful. This course focuses on more than the fundamental techniques. It looks at four different challenges. One, how you become a good project manager. In other words, how do you develop the skills needed to manage a project in the complex context that we operate in now? Two, managing projects in a complex world by selecting the right approach to plan and execute a project. Three, managing people in projects and successfully leading project teams. Four, understanding projects in the context of complex organizations. This course was created in collaboration with the Association for Project Management, which is the chartered body for the project management profession in the UK. Several references are made to the seventh version of the APM body of knowledge in this course. We will touch on several topics that are more advanced than those typically covered in introductory project management courses, but you do not need a deep knowledge on project management to complete it. On your journey, you will meet my colleague Matthew Moran. He is an experienced project manager and he lead you through weeks two and three. It is important to recognize that this is not a purely academic course. While we are focused on presenting you with models and frameworks that are well supported in project management literature, you will also learn from the experience of several real life project managers. They will share their approaches to the different challenges we see in the course. Through this, you can aspire to resolve similar challenges you find in your own work. In this first week, we will reflect on three areas connected to what you need to succeed as a project manager. First, we will look at the skills of a project manager and how they are distinct from the skills required of other experts, such as sales or operation managers. 
you will have the chance to reflect on the demands that this job poses and how you can respond to them. Second, we will look at one vital activity of project managers, which is to engage with stakeholders. Two useful models will be introduced to map stakeholders along with possible strategies to deal with them. We will also discuss communication flows between project stakeholders with particular attention on the project sponsor. Third, we will look at the ethical aspects in projects. What does it mean to act ethically in the context of project management? You will find guidance from the APM on how to manage ethical choices. Our reflection will not be purely theoretical. We will consider ethical decision in the context of different situation. Here you are invited to discuss what you personally would do as a project manager.